Good morning y'all, I'm Jess. Uh, welcome back to Roots and Refuge Farm. Today I am going to be mixing up a couple of sprays to put on my plants for a couple different reasons. Now, a few days ago in my vlog, I mentioned using a peroxide spray that I learned about from Gary over at the Rusted Garden. Um, and several of you commented and you hadn't heard about that. So I figured I would show you today. I'm gonna link Gary's channel down below. He actually kind of figured this out over the course of years by trial and error. And what he landed on was that the best uh, dilution rate was eight to 12 tablespoons of 3% hydrogen peroxide into a gallon of water and I've got this gallon sprayer right here now he actually started by kind of testing what would happen if you sprayed this on directly and it was far too strong it killed the plant tissue caused more damage even than the fungus was um, and so since then he's developed this and uh, he's a great resource for gardening stuff and this is one of the many things that I've learned from him basically what the hydrogen peroxide spray does is it kills any fungus uh, or bacteria that might be existing on the leaves of your plants and uh, you can put it on like tomatoes and peppers um, and just anything that suffers from like leaf spot blight any of those things now i live in humid and hot arkansas uh, it rained last night and today it'll be 97 out and so blight and leaf spot is just a big threat to growing tomatoes in my climate area and i know a lot of you are living in areas that are getting a lot of rain this year it's just been a very very wet year so obviously this is going to be a year where those those issues that are spread by moisture and foliage they're going to be worse so this is a really great resource to have in your pocket it's cheap um hydrogen peroxide is like 95 cents or something like that for a bottle at the store and you're diluting it so much that one bottle should last you uh, these sprayers, these are so good to have and I think that they're in the range of like 12 to $15. You can get them on Amazon, I'll link that down below as well. And you can mix up neem oil, peroxide, you can mix up essential oil mixes, like anything that you're wanting to spray uh, broadcast over your garden. Now I also use these bottles whenever I'm just making a small batch of something that's going to be like a few plants but this gets really exhausting uh, and I've got 120 tomato plants so that's not going to work for this. Now Gary does suggest and I entirely agree uh, if you're going to mix anything like this that you see on our channel on anybody's channel that you read on a blog do a test spray um, because in the nature of gardening I know for me personally I've only ever gardened in zone 7b I know my climate well I know what works well but there are certain things that I may do that may work for me that might not work for you where you are so uh, if you're gonna mix this up I highly suggest like doing a test spray area spraying it waiting a day seeing how your plant responds and then you know tweaking accordingly if needed uh, Gary suggests starting at eight tablespoons per gallon and so um, my mom actually did this while I was out of town last week she mixed it and she makes it a little more strong than that and she said I think I did it too strong because I noticed some spots so we're just pulling it back it's no big deal uh, you want to be careful not to kill your plants so don't go full bore and try to spray it uh, too strong right out of the gate now here are my tomato plants it is June 20th today, and so we actually haven't even gotten any ripe slicers yet. And we had a big storm last night, so I've got some parts kind of hanging down. But what I'm seeing is that I've got a few places where I've just got some leaf spot going on. Things like this. Here's another little instance of, of some leaf spot happening. Now you'll notice most of the leaf spot is happening on the lower leaves. Some of these that are really low, instead of worrying about spraying them, uh, I'll just go ahead and prune them off, but then I'll spray the rest of the plant to make sure nothing is spreading. I grow a lot of different varieties of tomatoes and most of them are heirlooms or recently developed but open pollinated stabilized hybrids. Um, I think I started something like 85 varieties this year. I think maybe 70 ended up in my garden. And if you got carried away starting lots of different varieties, you'll learn that some plants do better 
than others. Um, you'll end up with your favorite varieties. Make note of the ones that seem to be very uh, resistant to things like leaf spot because all of my plants are obviously in the exact same conditions but some of them are really struggling with the moisture and the heat whereas others don't have a single spot on them and that's that's good to notice because you'll you'll then be able to decide which ones you want to give garden space next year if you are dealing with leaf spot um if you notice any early blight or just any sort of like yellow spotting on your plants uh, if you pull those leaves off if you clip those off Make sure that you don't put that in your compost. Uh, don't just leave it laying there at the bottom of the plant because that, that fungus, that sickness is still on those leaves. I like to put those in the burn barrel and go ahead and just burn those. So basically all I'm gonna do here is spray the fronts and the backs of the leaves of my plant. Um, pretty simple, not super thrilling to watch, but this is just peroxide spray. You want to get the backs too. Putting this peroxide on the leaves and coating them is just going to kill any bacteria or fungus that is currently existing on the leaves. It will not keep it from coming back, but stopping the fungus in its tracks is good. So it rained last night. It's going to be dry for the next few days. So that's why I'm doing this now. My hope is that by applying this spray about once a week, through our season. If we start getting a lot of rain, I'll probably apply it more. My hope is that I can extend my tomato growing season. Now, normally I lose my tomatoes to sickness by about the end of July. Um, we never have tomatoes when the frost comes because it's just, it gets so hot and humid and they end up folding to spots and uh, sickness. So I'm hoping that by keeping this on all of my plants throughout this the summer, that I can extend the growing season, but we'll see. This is my first year to do this. Now the other thing that I will be spraying regularly, and I guess you could try mixing these together, like putting the aspirin in the hydrogen peroxide water. Um, I haven't done that, and so I'm hesitant to tell you guys to do it without knowing for sure first that it's not gonna have any negative adverse effects. I, I would think that it would be okay, but I need to test that before I tell you guys to do it. Um, if one of you decides to, to go ahead and try it, let me know. But basically two aspirin crushed into a gallon of water like that and sprayed on the leaves of the plant like every a uh, couple of weeks. I think I'll probably do it every other week. And what that does is, does is that salicylic acid and the aspirin, uh, it, it communicates to that plant because that's the, that is what the plant puts off when it's under attack. So it communicates to that plant that it's under attack. And it kind of puts its defense mechanisms in high gear. And what that does is it creates a stronger plant that can withstand uh, insect attack but also from what, everything that I've read, that salicylic acid um, actually creates, and the defense mechanisms of that plant actually create chemicals that make your tomatoes more flavorful. Um, I did do this last year and the year before. I did the aspirin spray. And so, I mean, I've, I've got great tasting tomatoes. So I don't, you know, I don't really have like a control. I didn't do it on one plant and then not on one identical um, and then do a taste test between the two. So I can't say for sure this definitely works, but the science is there to state why that would have that response. Also, um, it's a benefit if you're trying to keep your plants healthy. So I'm going to be doing that more regularly this year. Um, and I may try putting the aspirin in the peroxide spray since I'm already going through spraying everything, but I just haven't done that yet. So I'm going to get to spraying and that is not exactly the most entertaining thing to watch. So I will uh, say farewell for now. Please go check out Gary, um, follow his channel, check out some of his videos. Excellent resource uh, for gardening knowledge and super nice guy. So thank you guys. Uh, I appreciate you so much and I bless you until next time.